A bookstore. A customer enters. Oh, man. Come on, love. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Economy Bookstore, sir. Look, I purchased a copy of Robinson Crusoe in here yesterday around uh, 9.17. And uh, when I got it home, I noticed that it only had pages 75 through 89 in it. Ah, oh, yeah, Robinson Crusoe. Well, pages 75 through 89 are the best pages of the book. I assure you, that's the finest part of the story. That may well be true, but why would you sell me a book with only those pages in it. Well, this is the economy bookstore, sir. We sell the finest stories told economically by personally removing certain pages, sections, or indeed chapters. We're able to offer timeless literature at economic prices. Look, that's ridiculous. What's the appeal in that? Well, I seem to remember you finding the prices of our books appealing, sir, as I recall. Oh! Oh, yes, the prices. Oh, well, they were enticingly cheap, but you didn't mention it's because there were pages removed. Well, why would we? The flavor of the book is preserved with the finest quality cover of a classic piece of literature easily visible on your bookshelf. I didn't buy the book to impress someone that might see it on my shelf. I bought it to actually read it. You bought these classics to actually read them, sir? Yes! Is that so hard for a seller of fine books to understand? Well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most people don't read the classics these days. That's why we're the leading seller of fine books. I see. And how can you claim to be the leading seller of books? Well, sir, I uh, lead people on, and then I'll sell them some books. Ha! Oh. Ha! Oh. Ha! Oh. The pages are gone. Our discount competitors offer more pages of Robinson Crusoe. Uh, pages 102 through 289, in fact, for the same price, which on the outset would appear to be the better bargain. Unless, of course, you actually wanted to read Robinson Crusoe. A given, sir, if I may be allowed to continue, unless you got the point, in which case I could stop. No, no, despite my continued presence in this store, I'm actually keen to hear a complete story. Do oh, go on. Well, then, I'll continue with the economy version of the story at no additional cost to you. You charge for excuses. Well, sir, the unabridged version of the excuse eats into our profits. I mean, I could go on and on. Time is money, sir. Time is money. So, upon closer examination of our discount competitor's book, you'll find it offers very little satisfaction. This the last page ends with, uh, Caruso's biggest frustration was the lack of... Yes, that is a particularly vexing conclusion to what used to be a classic story. However, your book fares little better in that it begins with Turkish pirates attacking a ship and ends 14 pages later with little evidence that anyone survived, or in Robinson Crusoe's case, even got off the boat. Well, that's the most action the story has to offer, sir. That may well be true, even though you are saying it. But regrettably, I want to know what happened next. Well, sir, I'm afraid I can't help you there, so I haven't read the entire thing myself. What's the point of selling me a story if it's been destroyed? I mean, it's basic. It's economic. Look. A book with two-thirds fewer pages in it can be read in 66.5% less time. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, oh, what was that? Where the f*** is that? Harry, you seen that book? I don't know, it's a book. Hang on, stop that. Ah, here we are. Ah. <sighs> Try that one by Charles Dickens, sir. I see it's, uh, it's thick with 300 blank pages. But it's so much more fun and interactive without all the printing costs and story limitations. Oh, listen. Listen just how engaging it could be. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. What's your name? Fred. Said Fred. See, you could just write it. Write it in there. It's personal and economic. And I'll throw in Hemingway's Old Man of the Sea, a 30 volume set, yours for the writing. No, I don't want to write a classic piece of literature. I just want to sit and read something good. Don't be so lazy. 
Look, with this classic author's pen, yours free at a low cost with your other purchases, you could use these great literary works as a, as a canvas on which to paint your own masterpiece. Let me get this straight. Your customer service resolution to our problem is that I purchase the title to a classic piece of literature, buy a free author's pen, and then write the story myself? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. That's it. I want my money back. Well, I'm afraid I can't give you your money back, sir. I could give you a store credit. Oh, 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 have you seen our prefaces and forwards only section, sir? Oh, hang on. Here is a fascinating forward to The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli. Hang on. Ah, oh, no. Oh. And, uh, <clears throat> how, how much, how much is this preface? Only ten pounds. Ten pounds? That's more than the books were. Why is this so ridiculously priced? Well, it's so expensive because it takes so much time to remove all the pages. Oh, all right. So, look, you drive a hard bargain. Here's the, the bindings and preface. Sans binding. Yeah, are you happy? Thanks to my wife and... I'll have you know I'm about to get violent. All right, all right. Look. Look, um... Uh, here. Here's all the collected letters to William Shakespeare's works. These are just the letters. They're not even on paper. God, you're a whingy git.